One of the real advantages of Electric Cooperative's membership is having a voice in our state's energy future. Not a week goes by without important energy issues making headlines. These are issues that need to be discussed. And you should know that as policies are being developed, the cooperatives are looking out for our members, advocating what's best for you. We are your friends and neighbors. We are your local electric company. The Electric Cooperatives. We are, we are Arkansas. Following the trend of other successful local business incubators across the state, downtown North Little Rock will be the new home to the latest entrepreneurial hub, the Argena Innovation Center. It is one of many things that is happening in downtown North Little Rock. Greg Nabholt, CEO of Nabholt's Properties, joins me. He is part of the brain trust that has led to this renaissance in downtown North Little Rock. Welcome to the program. It's good to be here, Roby. Tell me what got you interested in downtown North Little Rock to begin with? When uh, when you first started working on developments down there, it was a sleepy little sister city to what was happening in Little Rock's downtown uh, uh, river market. Sure, well, it was uh, kind of a uh, by uh, we got the opportunity to be introduced to John Godan and Harold Tenenbaum, who are two business partners uh, in our New Argenta Fund. And it was, uh, I had always uh, had that interest in, in downtown and revitalize, revitalizing cities' cores. And uh, it was just an opportunity, it was a great investment opportunity for our company to partner with them. And uh, from there, we've just, um, I've lived in uh, downtown for five and a half years and really enjoying it. Tell me what, uh, before we get to this particular mm -hmm. project, tell me what was kind of the first big phase. What do you think got downtown Argenta over the hump? Because there was a, a period of time where there was just a little bit of activity and, and now it's just, it's flourishing down there. Well, I think the key uh, that's, that's unique in many ways is that you had the full participation of the city. You had a, uh, a city, uh, the mayor, the leadership there that and the city council that, that understood uh, and got the vision of, of what uh, a strong downtown means for the entire city. And you also had a, a very engaged nonprofit sector. Uh, the, uh, the CDC, uh, the, you know, Argentina Community Development Corporation was already in existence and, and was a big part in getting a lot of the residential uh, component of, of Argenta uh, revitalized. And so when you have that bringing in uh, also the private sector, it just, it, those three stools really led to the uh, all the other things that really make a, a, a great place um, place making you started a lot of this though right before the economic crash in yeah timing is everything timing is everything we're probably exactly bit. well the the lucky thing that i guess you can say the silver lining in all that is that in uh, 2009 um, when in the midst of this this crash is when uh the the city the the private sector as well as the um, nonprofit sector, we all came together and uh, did the master plan for Argenta, which is, um, uh, was completed in 2010. And so that gave us some time to really sit back and plan and do everything right. And since that time, uh, we've been in the process of getting all the, the necessary pieces of the puzzle you know, put together, the entitling of the properties, the, uh, all the infrastructure, work and, and getting everything teed up for a better word sewer um, roads water to, all that to kind really tour right? now mm -hmm. we can really uh, um, you know take off and we're probably two years you know behind where we'd really like to be but the good thing is uh, the timing of everything and with all the trends of and the big interest in and in just people wanting to move you know to uh, you know both sides of the river downtown uh, whether that's uh, you know, on the Little Rock side or, or Argenta. So it's, it's very exciting times. That latest Metro Plan study that just came out about two weeks ago, yes. looking at the last three yeah. years worth of demographic growth, act, actually showed that d North Little Rock had the highest growth of any city in the Metro Plan region. That's pretty impressive. Well, it's, it is uh, uh, it's exciting to hear and, and it is impressive. And people want to be able to, you know, work, uh, live, and you know, shop, entertain all within walking distance, and that's and we're really seeing that play out. And it's it's not just the uh, the just the college age young people or the retired people. There's a lot of people with families that are uh, moving to Argenta, uh, which is exciting. It's it's not dictated by uh, you know a 
one specific demographic is across the board. Sounds like you've got some projects in the works here. We're going to talk about that. Yeah. Let's talk about this big one that was announced this last week. You're not necessarily involved in this other than just being supportive of it, but the Argenta Innovation Center. I believe we've got a graphic to kind of pull up what this does here. It's basically um, three kind of components. The mm -hmm. Silver Mine is an entrepreneur yep. exchange. You've got the, um, the Fab Lab where finding ways to make technology more tangible yeah, yeah. and useful, bring it to the marketplace and do some things. And you got the Art Connection, which is really geared towards students yeah. in North Little Rock and the arts program. So how does all of that kind of work together in your mind to create an environment for business startups? Well, it's, it's, it's just a component of, of a, an overall uh, neighborhood uh, you know, plan to, to really have a thriving creative uh, strong core to do that you know the key is to we got to attract the talent we got to retain it and we got to grow it and uh, with um, uh, what what this is so significant in doing is it's, it's kind of taking three different creative components and putting them in one space that uh, the three of them kind of hit creativity from a different uh, angle but mm -hmm. when you combine them together the uh, it's going to just the, the power of, of that is really going to be uh, significant. And I think it's it's not only significant for just Argenta, but you know, you know, the the city of North Little Rock, you know, the city of Little Rock, all of Central Arkansas, and really the state. And and this is you know the first of hopefully as our state uh, really takes off in this fashion. I mean, we're a home. I mean, Arkansas is the home of entrepreneurs. I mean, we're the you know the the state that does it better than anyone else. You're looking we for the next Sam Walton. We're looking for the next <laughs> many, you know, many Sam Waltons. So. All right, let's talk to um, you. This is obviously just another layer in the onion of things that we've seen developing in downtown Argentina. What's out there on the horizon? What are we, what, what's on the planning yeah. board you know about that you can reveal sure, to us? Sure, sure. Well, we've got several projects, both um, on the uh, uh, projects that we're involved in uh, on our side, uh, as well as some public or other types of projects. We've got, of course, the uh, Argenta Library is in the midst of renovating the old post office and that'll be complete in uh, January. And that's going to be a much, much more expanded library with a lot of different offerings. They've got an auditorium, uh, you know, it'll be a major art gallery there and, and it'll be a really active space for a lot of, uh, you know, people, a big uh, attractor of, of, of people on a daily basis. And of course, the Innovation Center, which we mentioned should be uh, you know, full under construction, uh, mm -hmm. you know, in the next two or three months and opening, you know, next year. And then, then you have the, uh, the Argenta Market Square, which has been uh, kind of the centerpiece of the, the master plan and the development uh, that is uh, right across from the Argenta Market Grocery. Um, and it is the uh, starting the, uh, we've got the design done and complete, the pricing complete, and, and just in the final phases, hopefully that should be under construction. Be a farmer's uh, market, a place for yeah, community already, activities. Yeah, a lot of things so. are already happening there. The square is there, it's just we will actually have the, you know, the complete, you know, working on getting it completed, which should start this fall. And more business, office, uh, yes, retail space. we've got a building uh, right now that we're, um, it's on the parking lot, actually it's next to the, uh, the branch library, it's on the parking lot, it's a three-story mixed-use building. We're in the pre-leasing stages of that. Uh, we're pretty close to having 50% of that pre-leased. We're also working on a, a restaurant retail building on the square itself. And then uh, uh, hopefully we'll be, uh, got the announcement of some loft apartments coming very soon. Be a good uh, place for us to have lunch. Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> He's Greg Nabholtz, CEO with Nabholtz Properties. Thank you so much for being with us. It's great to be here.